Down to a big talker tonight, of course, you know, the Wolfpack faithful hope for the best, and they are at least happy with how NC State managed to turn around the postseason and their appearance in the NCAA tournament. It still was an absolutely incredible mm -hmm. run. CBS 17 Sonica Bargo is live in Raleigh. After spending the evening watching the game with fans, Sonica, of course, there's some disappointment, but gosh, they got to feel pretty good about this season. Mm -hmm. Maggie, Greg, that is exactly how they're feeling. Now we're here at the bell tower. It's still lit up white tonight and nearly deserted. A very different scene from last weekend's game. So it was a tough loss for the Wolfpack fans, but they still tell us they are so proud of everything the NC State team pulled off. Each game, we're just watching it from our couch, and then of course you want to come out here on Hillsborough Street for this yeah, big it's, final. It's four. just so exciting. Wolfpack fans out in force, taking over Hillsborough Street to watch the men's basketball team take on Purdue <laughs> and celebrate NC State's first Final Four game in over 40 years. But it's been a 41-year walk in the wilderness without anything like this happening, and I think that even makes this one more special. It is also cool to see NC State like get some recognition nationally. Some nerves before the game. I think uh, Purdue of course is very strong inside with Edie. But fans had faith in their players and unconditional support. <laughs> Unfortunately it wasn't enough for the Wolfpack team. It's really sad. We are expecting you know a little bit more because you know we were up there. While it's not the outcome fans wanted. Even though we didn't get to where we wanted to be I definitely think um, the team showed their passion. They didn't lose their energy. <laughs> Still celebrating a fairy tale season. We know NC State gives it all, and uh, we're proud of them, and uh, we support them even if they lost. Glad we were able to support just because it's a once in a lifetime experience. It's like the first time, I think, in 40 years that something like this has happened. So I just think it's pretty unique. These students are Wolfpack fans for life. I love the Wolfpack no matter what happens because I bleed red. If you didn't know, I think everyone bleeds red and I especially bleed red. Now just waiting for next year. We're going back to March Madness for sure. We'll be back. We'll be back. So as you can see, fans are still optimistic. This is not the end of their NCAA dreams. Live in Raleigh, Sonica Fargo, CBS 17 News. So proud of them. Yeah, the women's and the men's team. Mm -hmm. Just an awesome, awesome season. Thank you, Sonica.